Mother's Day Montaigne. My name is Hannah and today I have a awesome haul. The past few days I went to a couple of thrift stores with my sister and I went to a local consignment shop and I went to a estate sale this morning and I normally show jewelry, but I got a few uh, jewelry related and vintage items. I am a reseller and I'm a collector and I'm also an artist slash designer. I um, design jewelry and I like to take antique vintage pieces that are broken or ruined and give them new life. So, first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show the non-jewelry items. So if you're only interested in jewelry, you can skip ahead. Um, but I got this beautiful beaded purse. I am a sucker for vintage purses, and this was only two dollars. I could not believe it. It was missing a couple of beads and these are plastic and it's got this metal hinge and yeah, I know there's some staining in here but the inside is so adorable uh, I'm not too familiar with the era this is from See, it's got a lot of wear I just really could not leave it I don't know if maybe I could clean this up. That might be hard to do. Because I don't think I could soak this. But I had to get it. And I think someone would like it. So I'm going to set this aside. And at my local consignment store, I found this beaded bug kind of a how-to book and I love insects especially insect jewelry and I'm really into seed beads and I thought you know this would be really fun to teach myself how to do and maybe incorporate it into my jewelry so there's that and then this book is so huge and just looking at the cover, I was like, okay, this has probably got a lot of valuable information, and it does. And I find that things I'm personally gravitated to are actually worth some money. And I looked this up, and it is worth at least $50. And really good condition that it would be worth more but it literally shows you all the different basically ways to make jewelry this one's about fabrication and even the history of how jewelry was made uh, cuts of diamonds and gemstones and engraving and gilding uh, electroforming and then examples of artist work this is from the 80s so it's got older info in here but still pretty pretty relevant I'm probably gonna keep this this is invaluable uh, I would say to someone who designs jewelry and really is interested in learning different techniques. So I'm super excited. I got this only for $3. And at the estate sale, I got this cute little folk art Santa. Um, this I'll be selling. I love selling little cute pieces like this. Only a dollar and it's signed, so I'll have to look into that. And I absolutely love pottery and I got these two Thai 
uh, celadon glazed monkeys and they're actually signed and it looks like Thai script so this is genuine you know Thai pottery I did really well with this so I'm expecting good money for those and now we'll get into the jewelry I've got my cup of tea got a citrus green tea so yeah if you would like to grab something to drink and we'll get started um, all of this except for one other piece I have to show came from an estate sale and all are vintage so I'm gonna actually zoom in so you guys can see better I found several Monet signed earrings so these are like ribbed silver tone clip-ons oh I'm gonna set these aside put put them all in a little container to sell <laughs> I've got these cute kind of 80s style cabochon clip-ons. They're very lightweight. Um, I love these style like stones. You you can also use a keyword. I think it. I'm gonna butcher this. Griffics or griffois. It's like a poured glass technique that's really old technique and a lot of 80s and 90s designers kind of imitated it with these just rounded cabochons and this style jewelry is very um, collectible even like the cheaper types I really like getting so I will sell those as well. These were adorable. Just some white enamel flower clip-ons. These were not signed. Super cute. I got a little bit of wear. Brushed gold clip on and they're actually signed Trifari and yeah they are the crown Trifari you can see the crown above the T people seem to um, really look for the crown Trifari I'm not sure if that means it's like their older pieces but uh, do really well with any any kind of signed clip-on earrings. I love selling them. Here's some cute basket weave triangle clip-ons, and these are also Monet. Really nice. The gold plating is really good, so these will be great. Um, I have no idea about this piece, but it was $2, and I thought, you know, this looks so atomic, uh, I actually thought this was a little newer, but looking at the clasp, it's a C-clasp, so it's older, and... Oh, this is actually glass. So we've got a cool spaceship, planet or disco ball, some stars. Really, really cool. I thought it would be signed, maybe. 
So I'm excited to look into this really cool piece. All right, and now we've got these baggies. And this was $2. So let's first look at these. We got some really cool yellow, maybe thermoset clip on earrings. They look pretty good. Not signed. Really cute. Ooh. These are some really cool tiger's eye uh, electroformed clip-on earrings. These are funky. I would guess these were from the 60s or 70s. Really cool. Got some cream enamel clip-on and also screw back and they are signed. Oh, they're Coro. They got a little bit of verdigris. I could get that off with probably a little bit of vinegar. I love using vinegar to clean. That's a good one. Coro's good. And we've got these lightweight antiqued silver tone. Leaves are not signed. Well, cute. Got these cute aqua beaded clip on earrings signed. I believe Japan. Yes. Well, this is cute. It seems a little maybe. Asymmetrical. So I feel like it should go this way. Maybe not. Really cool teal acrylic. They look a little marbled. Love these clear beads. That one's cute. I might put that in a lot of something. Let me open my blind. See if we can get better lighting. I think it's a little better. We got this baggie. It was two dollars. Saw so some really cool what looked to be lucite necklaces in here. I really didn't open the bags to look, so. Oh, I love this. It's almost like a butterscotch root beer colored beads. Really cool. I like these. See, does it have a clasp? Uh, these look like, no, nope, not a barrel clasp, so I should just put that over. That was cute. And we've got these cool clip-ons here. Okay, I had to plug in my phone. All right, so now we've got these really cool orange and white beaded clip-on earrings. They are signed Japan and they go with this, with this all in one piece. Yes, multi-strand 
Lucite beaded. Oh, just so pretty. These like peachy orange tones. And then these gold like paint splatter beads. Oh, this is really cute. Sign Japan there. I love selling these hook multi-strand necklaces. So we've got a set. That is great. Here is like a brown pearl and then orange beaded necklace. They're all plastic. So I'll probably put that in a lot with something. Here's one that's very similar to it. Got a few pieces here I picked out and paid for individually and then I bought this huge basket that is a mystery I have all kind of stuff and I saw a few neat pieces and I figured you know what it's worth the risk so I will do that basket last Here's another pair of Monet. Oh, these are just like the silver ones. Signed. Got these faux pearl disc earrings. Very 80s, 90s. This got some wear to them, but I can still sell them. I don't think they were signed. No. And I might even touch it up with my pen. I think that is the same. It's like a lighter yellow, and I think the pink pen will match. I will link these paint pens in the description so you guys could um, find these. They are really great for touch up. I'm probably going to mention them in every video because they're just great. Um, and if you want to see me using them, I have a how to repair costume jewelry video. And I show using the silver and the gold one that I have. Now this is beautiful like a matte gold faux, faux pearl cabochon bar brooch. I really feel like it should be signed. It is very nice. I'm um, pretty sure this is gold plated. It's just so shiny. Love that. These are so adorable. I love the little like little uh, vine or stop coming around there and they're signed Kramer I'm not sure that I've ever come across Kramer so I'm excited about these I actually paid up a little bit because I thought they were neat I paid three dollars for those uh, they're really cute but you can see there I don't know if it's plating is missing or if it's just darkened yeah the plating's there I might can clean that with like a polishing cloth but they are also Monet I was a little hasty in grabbing those and not seeing that so this is very unusual little brooch and I am unsure if it's it almost looks gold filled I could be 
totally wrong because this is not signed. Um, but you know what? I can test it right now and find out. I'm going to scratch. Ooh, it's not really wanting to rub, so that's not a good sign. I'll do two scratches to begin with. So most things are normally 10 karat plated. dissolving so it is not gold I was really fooled Gonna neutralize the acid wipe it off oh I have to do more research but I thought it was really cool this like root beer um, blue site or something and a crest really cool so maybe I'll pop up something if if I found out and I'm gonna leave these tags on they're kind of hard to get off beautiful rhinestone flower necklace we've got the hook there and I don't believe it was signed and I looked over it because I was like oh this is gorgeous all the stones are there it does have a little bit of plating issues I thought oh you know what does that say Coro Maybe I'm just seeing things. Well, you know what? I think it's safe to say Coro. The back looks like Coro. What do you guys think? I think it is. I think it says it there. Oh, just beautiful. Paid $3 for that one. Gorgeous bezel set. Now they're acrylic. Man, and they look broken. Actually, they might be glass. They're broken like that. Um, I'll still sell it and just disclose. I do sell damaged jewelry that's very collectible. Oh, just look at this. Waterfall, rhinestone, bezel set, bib necklace. Oh my goodness. I, I cannot believe. I got this whole set for $3. We've even got rhinestones going all the way down to the clasp there. A little rhinestone at the very end. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. A lot of soldering work went into this. Now this on its own um it would probably be worth quite a bit and we've got one missing i could probably replace it i'm sure i've got a clear stone 
super excited about that. You guys can stare at it over there. Sorry about this cord. This is a little more modern, but I absolutely love the style of it. Got this kind of Celtic knot look to it. These are just plastic. And I've heard of this brand, but never came across it. But it's casual corner. I think it's just like a woman's clothing brand. That's what it is. I found clothing by this brand. Didn't know they had jewelry. Super excited. Now, here's the basket. Um, initially, when I went, when I was looking at this, there was no price, so I asked, okay, is this, how, how is this price? There's a sticker here, and it had nothing on it, and the lady looked at it and said, uh, you know, six dollars for all of that. So, I figured that would be, you know, decent. Um, I do not do watches. Um, they do really well in lots for me, so that's what I'm going to do with most of these watches. Over there. I've got this cool copper braided cuff. And then we've got a ton of watch bands. The rhinestone watch there. Got a cute Mickey watch. Oh, this is so cute. I've actually got a few bracelets like this, and they're thicker. They look like a Victorian Revival. I can't figure out how to open this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, slides. I just need to connect the safety chain back. I don't believe it's signed. The other one I had was not. And it was not silver. But super cute. Probably not that old. Definitely sell that. Oh, we got a Boyd's Bear pin. Another Mickey watch. This one's cute. And another watch. That one says Sharp. Again, I'm just kind of going to go over... Okay, we've got Cherry Blossom Festival pins. Um, I actually do really well with these pins that are very specific to little towns. I actually have some coins from some little town in Georgia. I'm also in Georgia, so I come across this all the time. Ooh, I'm going to have to replace that. But Cherry Blossom is a big deal, so I'm sure those will sell. Not sure what this is. Hi, you see me. <laughs> um, I don't know. What is this? I thought maybe part of a belt buckle. Maybe we'll find the other piece to it. Okay, we've got a wood brooch. Yep. Like a modernist type brooch. Let's sell that. What is this? Some kind of seeds? 
wood. Uh, you know what? These do like seeds. And they're kind of gross. <laughs> Where's my wipes? <laughs> I just burst out instantly. Now, some of you may be wondering why am I not wearing a glove? Well, I like to, you know, feel the items. You can really tell a lot about the quality from feeling it, so I keep wipes with me. All right. Huh. Cute little rhinestone. Looks like a pot metal brooch. Something's missing here, but this looks, well, the clasp is a little newer, so probably 40s, 50s. And we got bangles, we've got this, oh, it's signed, Monet, hmm, okay. Then we've got this, wherever you go, bring your own sunshine. That one's not signed, I believe. Then, oh, oh, is this what I think it is? No, there's no way. No way these ladies at the States will miss this. Where's my magnifying glass? I just found real gold. No way. No way. Oh, man. It says, oh, I can't make this out. I'll let you guys see. <laughs> this is not working. I gotta get my loop. Bear with me, but I believe this is for 14 karat gold. It's got some numbers signed. What? Oh my god. Okay, it says K14. Italy, then beneath it says star 1222MI. So, normally with the three tone gold, I would say this is, it looks like Black Hills gold. They use the red, the like white gold and yellow gold. Oh my gosh, and it feels so nice. It's so smooth. No way. Okay, I'm going to have to pop something up. I am so excited about this. What? Wow. Okay. Ooh. Not sure you could top that. Okay, we've got this chunky curb link texture toggle class bracelet. I'm giving you guys all the keywords. Definitely could sell that one. What is this? Little gold teacup brooch with. Oh, I'm afraid to touch this, but I'm pretty sure it's. Doesn't work. Yeah, we'll probably put that in craft because it is corroded in there. And here's another one. Really cute though. Uh, 
Okay, we've got, uh, yeah, I think this is a glove clip. It says patent, like, patent pending, copyright, something, Tam, B.Y. Tam. Sorry, I'm trying to read it and then let you guys see what I'm seeing. So, glove clips do all right. This one's interesting. I think it was missing, no, no missing stones. So, I'll either put this in like a vintage lot or sell it on its own. So, we'll see. This looks like corner of like a picture frame, maybe. It will be craft. Wow, there's a lot more in here than I thought. This too shall pass. Oh, that is such a cool pen. Man, it is all kind of messed up. Yeah, the like enamel was messed up. I will have to put that in craft. This is also chipped. Oh, it's an earring. I will put that in craft. Nope. These are different. Those will go in craft. We've got a bookmark. Oh, what is this? Beautiful crest brooch. And this also looks gold plated. What? It's not signed? I am shocked. So beautiful. Love the detail. Definitely selling that one. Oh, I get pieces with this one. Um, Des postages. Hmm. Not sure. Might put that in like a craft lot. Along with this. Really cute though. I don't think anything's wrong with them. American Libraries, like someone made that. This must be Jerry's, yep, Little Jerry's <laughs> Poodle and a little stocking. That is so cute. Cute. Coke bottle opener, keychain, another, this one's Minnie Mouse watch, we've got a lot of these broken vintage button earrings, oh, this one's clip on, these are not in good shape, oh, that's cool, could sell that, we'll it's like copper or brass etched brooch. Here's some blue polka dot clip-ons. Oh, here's the other earring and it's really good shape. Oh my gosh, my mom had one of these actually bought one from uh her name is Rachel and she goes by Lily Works on YouTube and I she used to sell on whatnot and I bought one of these bracelets from her and it was broken but I didn't care because it was just like my mom's so wow I'm gonna have to keep this one 
these are, I believe, made in, yeah, Swiss made. They're made in Switzerland. Really cute enamel. Oh, I'm gonna have to, can you wear it? Yes. Oh, oh I'm so happy. Keeping that. This looks like a belt buckle. Let's see if we can find, oh my goodness, there's so much in here. This ladybug, Swiss made. Oh, it's a watch. How cute. It's got some wear, so I'll probably put that. I don't know, I could upcycle this. Make a charm necklace. I'll put it with the lot. It's got some bangles. Huge pins. Don't take your organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them here. <laughs> okay. Operation Desert Storm. All right. Got breast cancer ribbon brooch. I could sell that. We've got, I think these are scarf clips. You like put your scarf around your neck and then this holds them together. Somehow it opens. That is broken. Ooh, another crest brooch, what? Ah, oh, these are just so beautiful. Missing a stone, I can replace that. Looks like the same maker as the other one. Really cool. Definitely sell those. We've got this brutalist brass thing. I think it probably came off of something. All right, I'm gonna pull this off. Yes, here's the other buckle to the sand dollar. I might sell that. I think it's gold plated. But it's a little worn. We've got these some kind of military pins. Probably sell those together. Got a little sleigh brooch. Ooh, some pretty blue, those are like crystal earrings. Okay, there's Sal. I need some cleaning up though. I could put some backs on those. Sal, is that Swarovski? Ooh, I think it is. Ooh. Exciting. Some more earrings. Put those in craft. This went with the other broken one. Here's to my bridesmaid charm. Little watch link. Jet pin. I sell these pins just you know list them for a few dollars and they sell people love collecting them this one is interesting that might be silver I'll have to look at that one we've got a gold bar what is this ah Napier very simple bar brooch. So that. And ooh, these are cool. They're little bents. Uh, cloisonne hoop earrings. 
These are unusual. I've never seen any like this. Okay, I can bend that back and sell these. Those are pretty. These came off the earrings. Here's some more earrings. Oh, is there another one? Yeah. Or even sell these as a set. Got that swirl enamel, possibly gold plated. Cute uh, quilt, what do you call it? Star, not a quilt star. Penpeddlers.com. Sell that. Cute little ring, very small, and an unk. I'm saying that right. Charm. That was March silver. It must be um, gold over silver. That mm, probably could still sell. There's the other one. And, oh, I got a few chains. This one just says Korea. I get a lot of chains like that. They're from the 70s, like 60s, 70s. Okay, this looks like a multi-chain J initial. I'll probably just put that with craft. And then one more chain. So that is it for that. Wow, how exciting. Um, found a bunch of beautiful vintage pieces and could you believe we found real solid gold bracelet. Wow, I'm so excited. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate you being here. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And you can click on the bell notification. That will let you know, uh, give you notification whenever I upload a video or a short so you don't miss anything out. And I love reading your comments and responding. Um, I feel very blessed and just very happy that you guys like watching my videos um, really enjoy doing this and if you guys have any suggestions tips maybe something you want to see or something you know you want me to talk about because I love to share my knowledge uh, I love to share hauls um, just let me know and that will be all, and I'll see you guys next time.